Right guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. In this one I'm just going to be showing you how to install and remove a FSA PF30 bottom bracket to your road bike, so that's press fit bottom bracket. So let's go ahead, let's run through the steps. Right, so here we have the PF30 FSA bottom bracket. This just happens to be a B3155, just in case anyone was wondering what the actual number of it is, but it's PF30 press fit bottom bracket uses a 46 um, millimeter across the shell there internal bore and an 86.5 millimeter width of the shell that's what it fits looks like this just happens to be a BB386 Evo so it'll fit that no problem as well now this has got adapters in it like you see there that adapts it down from the 30 millimeter axle down to a 24 millimeter axle for Shimano fitment so when you've removed your crank set if you've got Shimano you've removed that these are just cups on there that pull out so you should just be able to get hold of them and pull them out at the end they should come out with the bearing and then you'll just be able to see the bearing in there and then it be a 30 millimeter across there now, like that. So you should be able to pull them out. If you if you can't get them out very easily, then all you need to do is put a screwdriver through like that, a large -ish, ish screwdriver. Put that through like that, and then just literally just give that a little tap with a soft blow hammer on the other side, and then you can just give it um, a tap in a couple of places around it, and it'll just knock it out. So they shouldn't be in there very tight, they're only just resting in there just to adapt the size down to 24mm. So once you've done that, got those adapters out, if yours have got it fitted, you might not have, depends on what crank set you've got, then we'll get on and actually remove the bottom bracket itself. Right, so once you've removed any dirt shield or adapters off of there so you can actually see the bearings themselves, what you need to do is knock it out now. Because this is a 30mm hole through the middle with the axle, and the bearings are like that, larger hole through the centre. If you've got a normal tool like that, for instance, then you'll go to put that through and it will just go like so straight through and you won't be able to hit anything out because it hasn't got enough spring, it's not big enough to actually do anything. So that'll be no good on there. That's designed for a smaller, like I said, for a Shimano um, axle size, so it'd be no good, as you can see, because it's a 30mm bearing. So you need a larger one like that. This just happens to be for headset bearings, this tool. So what I'll do is, as you can see, I'll put that through, it's about the same size almost the same size as the bearing. This is like a 28.6 millimeter tool. So it just fits through the 30 millimeter bearings. So when you pull it through like that, it'll stop halfway through. But then what you can do, so it's a really good fit, is if you keep pulling it through, and just squeezing that at the same time, then that is a really good fit in there. So as it just goes through, it's just going to go through the bearing itself and then it'll just spring out the other side, like that. Like so. So what I'll do now, I'll just give you a better view and I'll just knock it with the other end with the hammer to get it to come out. So to knock it out, all I'll do is hold on, make sure you're holding onto the frame tight, like that, you don't want it moving around or anything. Hold it low down, like that. And then, obviously, with the hammer, we hit the other end like that. So we have the drive side out, so right hand side. So I'll go ahead, we'll knock this one out. So all I'll do is again put the tool through like that. Now knock this the uh, left hand side out, and like I showed before, I'll just squeeze it up 
like that. So it just goes through the bearing. And then again, it'd be trickier on this side because you've got no cup in in the uh, right hand side now, so the tool tends to move around like that. So it just makes it a little bit more awkward, but just got to hold on to it again. So there we have the left hand cup. Right, so now we've removed the old bottom bracket, what you want to do is get some um, alcohol on a rag and just wipe around the surface, make sure it's clean in there before you go ahead and reinstall anything. Just give that a wipe round and also check, have a look at it as well, make sure it's not damaged or anything like that. Now, being as this is carbon fibre frame, then you can put them in the bottom brackets. When you press them in, you can just press them in dry a lot of the time. They don't have any grease on them or anything like that. You can push them in just uh, dry with nothing on them. So no grease. Or if you're gonna, if you wanna put a little bit of grease on it, make sure that you just use lithium grease um, because lithium grease is not acidic. So it won't attack and it'll be absorbed into the resin the carbon fibre, so make sure it's lithium if you're going to put any grease around the cup and around the bottom bracket air shell before you push anything in. Or if you have a problem with your bottom bracket, say you know you're going to have a problem with it, say it creaks a lot or whatever, and you just want to um, lock tight it in, is another option. So. You can use like a medium strength Loctite on it that will just, um, you don't want to use anything that's going to put it in there permanently because if you do, you won't be able to get, ever get it out again, not without doing a lot of damage anyway. So you want like a medium strength or a lower strength compound and then make sure that you put some activator on both surfaces, on here and in there first before you put Loctite on. And smear it round and then you can press it in if you know you've got a problem that is but I say you don't need it unless you know you've got a problem with it so what I'll do I'll just wipe this round and then I'll get into pressing it back in right so on the uh, bottom bracket itself you can see it's got left and right on there just so you get them the right way around so what I'll do is I'll put in the drive side so that's the right hand side. And what you should be able to do is just line that up by hand first. So just get it in there, pressed in. If you can push it in by hand, try it. You might be able to push it in quite a long way by hand, or you might not. So just get it started by hand first. And then what we do is put in the left hand side, and again, just start that off by hand. Make sure that they're going in straight and you're not, you're not going to press them in crooked. So then what you can do then is what you need to press them in. There's various obviously uh, tools available on the market. If you haven't got the right tool then don't go ahead and just try and push it in with any old thing because you damage the bearings before you've even put it in. What you want is the appropriate cups for it that fit nicely on there so you're not going to do any damage to anything especially if you're pushing it into a carbon frame you can make them yourself you don't have to buy them you can just get yourself some big washers even and some threaded bar with a couple of nuts and washers and you can make them like that or you can just buy the appropriate cups like that to push it in with tool and then just get yourself a piece of threaded just get yourself a piece of threaded bar 
from your local DIY store with a couple of nuts and washers and then all you've got is the two cups and then all it is is a piece like I said a threaded bar through the middle so there's nothing technical about that so what I'll do is I'll just uh, get this on here so we'll uh, put the tool through like that put the handle on there like I say you could just use some nuts and uh, washers as well does the same same thing just use a, a spanner or ratchet on both ends get that snug down like that and when you're if you haven't got any grease on both faces if there's no grease on there and you're winding it in and it starts you might hear a bit of a creaking noise or a, the odd cracking noise sometimes when you're pushing them in then that's normal sometimes they do that so some people panic and think that it's just cracked something if you're pushing it in sometimes it just goes pop and crack like that as you as you're doing the doing it up Just carry on pushing it in. Basically, as soon as it stops moving, then that's enough. So that's it, stop there. And you can just let, let the tool back off. Like I said, it's important that you've got the right size cup tool there for the job, because otherwise you can easily damage the bearings or even the frame. But particularly the bearings before you've even got them in there so it's pointless trying to do that because you're just going to ruin the bearings and then you're back to square one again so remove the tool then you want to just check the bearings with your finger check they spin easily like that before you go ahead and refit your crank set to the bike right so there we have the uh, crank set Refitted, like I said, this just happens to have a Shimano crank set in it with those adapters. So, if you found the video helpful, if you did, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more cycle related content. Till next one, ride safe, and I'll see you then.